Welcome to the Frankfurt Chamber of Commerce 20, 2012 Chili Cook-Off. I'm standing outside here with the judges, and uh, we're going to interview them real quick here, let you know who they are. First off, why don't you tell me what your name is and uh, the school you go to? I'm Nikki Allegretti. I'm a sophomore from Lincoln Way East. And, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Nick. All right, and uh, what position do you play? I play center in football and 285 in wrestling. Fantastic. Okay, and next to you, what's your name? Frank Tolan. I'm a senior from Lincoln Way East, and I played left guard. Fantastic. Okay, how about you? I'm Joey Allegretti from Lincoln Way East, and I wrestle at 220. All right, are you ready to eat some chili, Joe? Yes, I'm ready to eat some chili. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, next. I'm Dan Marconi from Lincoln Way Central, and I play free safety. Thank you. All right, thank you, Dan. Now, we're representing all of the schools here in the Lincoln Way 210 district. Hello, I'm Mario Marcus, and uh, I play running back for Lincoln Way North. Okay, thank you, Mario. And you, sir, who are you? I'm uh, Kyle Milne, and I'm a uh, uh, go to Lincoln Way West, and I'm a quarterback. All right, fantastic. I'm Tyler Stark, and I'm a senior from Lincoln Way East, and I'm a running back. Okay, thank you, Tyler. And then we have the uh, team captain coming up here, and this is uh, Jeff Limp. And Jeff, uh, I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Okay, uh, Jeff obviously has the credentials here. He is. Uh, has an executive with a master's degree. Uh, he has a refined culinary palate for judging chili. And he was the unofficial, unranked, and uh, largely unknown <laughs> U of I chili eating champion 1983-84. Um, Jeff, wh what are you looking for when you're judging a chili? I think, uh, you know, initially a lot of spice, some heat, uh, some good meaty texture, and much like a fine wine, some nice legs. Okay, that's, that's a lot more than I would have gone for. All right. Uh, now, before we take everything up here, we're going to need to go qualify our judges, and we're going to ask our, our football player judges one question. <clears throat> okay, guys, before, before we qualify you as judges, we're going to have to ask you one question here. All right, this question is, it's a multiple choice, best answer, all right. What makes chili hot? Is it A, capsaicin? Is it B, dihydrocapsaicin? Or is it C, Chilean swimsuit model Pamela Diaz? Or D, all of the above, but especially that part about C? D. We're ready to go. Let's eat some chili. We're here with uh, Dr. Rick Brescia, yeah. uh, local Frankfurt uh, chiropractor and uh, chamber member. And uh, Rick, why don't you tell us a little bit about your chili? Uh, first year here, we mixed uh, three different types of meat. I'm going to hold back on the secret meat, but um, everybody seems to really be enjoying it. So, kind of opening up people's eyes to some things that they don't even know about. Okay, now the name of your uh, chili is a Dr. Rick's special blend, exactly. right? Uh, your chiropractor, is this something that's guaranteed to put you back into alignment <laughs> once you eat it, or is it going to throw your back completely out? Whack. No, no, nothing like that. No guarantees with anything. Just wanted to make some good chili and come out here and try this out. First year here, so. So, do you have any advice for people that are just starting out making chili? Uh, go, go beyond the package mix. Experiment a little bit. It's all, it's all good, you know. Uh, your, your wild beer creek is always good. Stay away from the hormel, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is your first year in the chili cook-off, right? That is correct. Okay. What uh, what prompted you to start cooking chili? You know, it's all about uh, Sunday with the family watching the bears, and uh, it's got to have some chili. So now the name of your chili uh, is this for your kids, or who'd you name this after? Yep. Uh, listen, Jack. They come and they've basically guided me through the process. What makes the perfect chili? So this is Melissa and Jack's favorite chili. This is not your first time here at the uh, chili cook-off, is it? No, this is my seventh year. Okay. I just, I just like coming here because the people are great. You like to see it, new faces, and you see the same old faces, and it's just great. You know. Now the name of your chili is uh, what? Never one yet chili. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Now. You know, you're trying to go like the sympathy angle uh, with your chili, or what's this? Yeah, sympathy, little marketing strategy, you know, you never know, you know. So. Now, does the same approach work with the ladies also, the little sympathy kind of thing? Um, if this is going to be on TV, don't tell my wife, but yes. <laughs> I'm joking, but yeah, no, it, it's nice. It's just a good, good, fun time to have with everybody. So. Now, now you have uh, you have come pretty close uh, to winning, though, in the past, right? Yes, I took third place quite a few years ago, but still, I, I still want to get the big one. Okay, you think this is going to be the year for you? I'm keeping my fingers crossed. <laughs> all right. Well, good luck to you, John. Okay, nice to have you back. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, Linda, there have been all kinds of creative names for chili. Larry's Aviator Chili. We've got uh, Sage Sunset, uh, Monkey Chili, and all kinds of crazy names like that. So you went out on a limb, and, and, and what did you name yours? Linda's Chili. Okay, so so the mojo is, is not in the name. It's in the recipe, right? Yes, yes it is. I use fresh uh, sirloin. I use black Angus. I ground it fresh this morning. Uh, fresh tomatoes and a couple of secret ingredients. And uh, would you guys give it a try? Absolutely. All right. You want to hold Enjoy. the mic for me for a sec? 14, baby. 14. Come get it by last. Enjoy. Oh, can I still use your spoon? Uh, we don't actually have spoons. Yeah, I think they can. Just chug it. Oh, I'll chug it. Yeah. Okay. Shots. Like an oyster or what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go, sir. It's a shooter. Oh, boy. That's, that's delicious. And I coarsely ground but the beef. I don't um, grind it too small. That's delicious, Linda. Thank you so much. Good luck to you. Thank you for being out here. Thanks, thanks a lot. Ladies, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Ann Reeder. I'm a, I'm a resident of Frankfurt, and we're just really excited to participate today. And this is my friend and neighbor, Judy Filippo. Hi, I'm Judy Filippo, and I'm a resident of Frankfurt, and I'm having a ball today. <laughs> <laughs> well, the chili looks delicious. There's a lot of great contestants out here today. Yes. Uh, you guys want to talk a little trash about the competition? You know what? We're just so glad everyone's out here to challenge yeah. us and have us make our best chili. So, no, we think everyone's doing a great job. Yes. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Samantha, why don't you tell us a little bit about your chili? Um, it has Italian sausage, ground turkey, there's beer in it, jalapeno, some cumin. Um, I'm Italian and I'm also Southern. I'm from Florida. A lot of people don't consider that the South, but I grew up making it with rice, so our kind of niche is that we serve it over a bed of white rice. Um, it's really good, it's really hearty, um, it has a nice amount of heat to it. We were serving ours with cornbread muffins that went really fast. Um, they were popular. Um, and we have sharp cheddar cheese as well. Um, it's our first year here, my hands are kind of numb, but it's worth it and it's really fun. Um, we're number 12, uh, 2012, so maybe that's a sign. Alright, and you have a, you're not from this area, but right. you have a Frankfurt connection. Yes, um, this is my husband and my father-in-law. Um, they're from Frankfurt. They've lived here their entire life. Um, my husband and I live in Chicago, so we came out here today um, in Frankfurt to participate. Why don't you tell me your name and uh, the name of your chili, please? Uh, my name is Mike Lang, and this is my sister Kathy. And uh, we did mild fire chili. It has uh, three different kinds of peppers, about four different kinds of beans. Uh, we took some onions and roasted them in the oven, get them nice and caramelized, and we pureed them up and put them in there instead of dicing them and, and frying them up. Um, we got uh, beer. Beer. There's 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 uh, everything. In there. Everything. Chili bit. sauce, green, um, um, brown sugar, all kinds of you know chili peppers and and, and cumin and all the regular stuff. You, you don't have to give away your uh, secret recipe. Oh, I left some stuff out. I left some stuff. <laughs> but but I'm getting hungry. Could you hold the mic so I could try some chili with them? Chili? No, okay. come over here. Get him out. He knows where the winner baby. is. You gave me big old chili. Just right. hit him out here! Just hit him out here! Just hit him out here! Now we're getting some trash talk going on here, too. This is good. This is good. Come on. Let's keep it going. Oh, good luck to you. Thank this, you for coming out and supporting us. This is 13 plus 1! 14 right. over here, okay. baby! 
All right, this is Deborah. All that's right. right, this is Deborah. Deborah how, how can you forget? That's how right, you can never forget, forget me. That's right. That's now, right. You call your chili CSI chili. Do you, can you do that like David Caruso thing where he takes off his CSI, glasses all the time? CSI, baby, I don't have no glasses. <laughs> so tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about what makes your chili the, uh, the best, best chili. Because it's got everything in it. It's got beef, chicken, and pork. So it's all good. It's got the pasta. It's got some vegetables. It's got a little rice, and it's got a little twang to it. See, I went and took his recipe, and then I put it over here. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Deborah, it's great to have you back again this Hi, year. Hey, I'm here every year. Come see inside, chili. Oh. Hey, get the Super Bowl show. <laughs> That's right, number one, baby. Number one. Tell us a little bit about your chili. Uh, this is our fifth year in the competition. Um, the first year we took first. Uh, the chili is mainly made up of more meat than than tomatoes and stuff. Um, it's got a unique, uh, put a little bit of potato in it for a little bit of uh, color and flavor, and uh, I don't know, usually we're pretty successful. Okay, what's uh, your prediction today? What place do you think you're going to take? Oh, I, I can't tell. I don't know. Hopefully first. <laughs> All right. You don't want to do a little trash talking here while we're at it? Uh, come alive with number five. All right. Now we're here with Patty. Now, Patty, you are uh, you call your chili tugboat chili, right? Tugboat chili. Oh, yes. No, I We just thought of it. But okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. You needed a name, and that sounded like the best name. Okay. All right. Um, so this is your first year in this competition, also. In Frankfurt, yes. In Frankfurt. Okay. Now, did you sneak in like in uh, Shabanzi or someplace else? We were in Shabanzi. Oh, did I mispronounce that? In Thank Will you. County Fair in Piatone. Okay. And how did you do down there? We took first place, Will County Fair. So you're kind of a ringer sneaking well, in here. Not really, but <laughs> we like doing it. <laughs> I'm standing here with Cliff Nagel. Yes. Cliff, tell me a little bit about your chili. Well, it's uh, I use a pork shoulder and a chuck roast, and I slow smoke them, you know, for hours until they're falling off the bone, and I shred them. Then I put my secret ingredients together and uh, let it marinate overnight, and there you have it. And you have a, an unusual name for it. This is Sagebrush Sunset. Where'd That's you come right. up with that name? I don't know. I watch, I watch the Western Channel all the time. You know, Gene Autry and all them guys, you know, stuff like that, you know. So I figured I would take it. And plus, that, uh, you know, everybody knows that chili was originated in San Antonio. You know, and stuff like that. And and, uh, and everybody doesn't believe this, but who invented chili powder was William Gephardt. He was a German immigrant. You know, and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, and he fell in love with the stuff from the Chili Queens of San Antonio and he brought it back east and then everything is history from there. Sounds good. Larry, you have a prediction on what you're going to do today? What place? I, I can't predict this anymore than I can predict the election. <laughs> you know, they're all very good, you know, it's, it's not going to it's not going to come down to uh, me or anybody else. It's going to be what the, what the public really want. Sure. Well, it's delicious. It smells great and good luck to you today, Larry. Thank you. Thank Is, uh, after eating spicy chili, uh, you should either A, eat something with a high fat content, B, go on a tilt-a-whirl, or C, ride in a crowded elevator. Uh, you know what, I'm going to go out on a limb and say high fat content on this one. Absolutely. Which of these peppers is the hottest? Is it A, the serrano, B, the habanero, or C, the jalapeno? Habanero. Habanero. Absolutely Agreed. right. Which U.S. city has more chili parlor parlors than it does McDonald's? Is it A, Cincinnati, Ohio, B, San Diego, California, or C, San Antonio, Texas? San Antonio. I'm going to say San Diego. Actually, it's Cincinnati, surprisingly <laughs> enough. They have a... Chili was introduced to America by the Amish, who are renowned for their breakdancing skills. True or false? I thought that was a secret Chinese recipe. <laughs> that 
That would be false. <laughs> that is right. Sadly, their talent goes largely unrecognized. So, which famous Western outlaw refused to rob the bank in McKinney, Texas because his favorite chili joint was located there? Was it A, Billy the Kid, B, Jesse James, or C, the outlaw Josie Wales? B. Okay, I'll see. Oh. All right, you're, you're right with me, with Jesse James, the James gang. Yep. People sometimes feed their dogs chili because A, dogs are carnivores, B, it makes their coats shiny, or C, you can always blame the dog. Oh, you can always blame the dogs. Z. That's why they call them man's best friend. <laughs> oh, it was, uh, wasn't it San Antonio? That's pretty much where chili was introduced to the United States. Are you mean black man didn't make it? After eating spicy chili, you should A. Eat something with a high fat content. B. Go on the tilt a world. Or C. Ride in a crowded elevator. That's uh, a tough one. I'd have to say the uh, high fat content food. That's good. It was Sunday, you guys. Which movie contains the greatest chili related scene in all of cinematic history? Was it A. The Godfather Part 1? B. Star Wars Episode 4? Or C. The campfire scene in Blazing Saddles. Blazing Saddles? Yeah, Blazing Saddles. Uh, definitely Blazing Saddles. Absolutely. When was the first chili cook-off held? Was it A, 1947, B, 1957, or C, 1967? 67. Oh, I went on my own. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, you're, you're right, it's 1967, it's Relingua, Texas. Right. What is the correct wine to pair with chili? Most people don't drink wine with chili, I think it's beer. Oh, absolutely right, that was a trick question. Oh, good job! <laughs> what, kind, what kind of people would drink wine with chili? Really? <laughs> they don't go together. In 1993, which state unanimous, unanimously passed a resolution declaring it the chili capital of the civilized world? and declaring that chili would be spelled with two L's. Was it A, Illinois, B, Hawaii, or C, Alaska? Illinois. I'm going to pass on that one. Okay, you know what? You, you were absolutely right with Illinois. Two L's in Illinois. The, yeah. Illinois, they passed the state resolution. Obviously, they didn't have anything better to do in 1993. U.S. state has a town named Chile. <laughs> Texas. Argentina. What U.S. state? <laughs> yeah. Mexico. <laughs> that, that would be false. false. <laughs> all good answers. None of them right, but all good answers. Arizona. Yeah. New York. Uh, near Rochester, they have a oh, yeah. Chile, New York. <laughs> yeah, famous place, Chile, New York. Population like eight. Next question. What famous cartoon character has Chile as part of his name? Darth Vader. <laughs> um, I don't know again. Okay. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. <laughs> okay, Chili Willy. I'm Chili Willy the Penguin. I shake until I'm blue. You know what? Maybe it's because we're older. That's right. That's Jeff, it's just because... So. It, yeah, right. yeah Nick, Nick's only 15, yeah. I think. In the movie Get Shorty, which actor plays a character named Chili Palmer? Johnny Depp. <laughs> John Travolta. My name's Chili Palma. Chili's a gangster. You guys got that right. Yep. Get shorty. In uh, in Texas, it's uh, true or false. It's considered a Class B felony to put beans in chili. What's the answer? Oh, false. <laughs>
Okay. Thank you, Deborah. Peace <laughs> be with you. <laughs>
Sunset, sage, rise, and everything else. And so, Linda, your your the name of your chili is Linda's chili. That's right. That's because the mojo, the mojo is in the recipe. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, on behalf of the Frankfurt Chamber of Commerce and the Village of Frankfurt, we hope you had a good time. You ate some great chili, and you learned some totally useless trivia from me. From all of us to all of you, we want chili!